It may look like it, but this is not space, and those are not stars. They are heterosigma, a harmful phytoplankton species responsible for killing over a million farmed fish in the past 20 years, and an indeterminate number of wild fish. At the University of Washington's Friday Harbor Labs, a team of scientists from the institution shown here have set up a harmful algal bloom laboratory, or HabLab for short, to research growth and toxic mechanisms in these raphidophytes. Here, grad student Brian Sutton Quaid, under the supervision of Dr. Charlie Trick, is running a test to determine the toxicity of heterosigma we have collected and grown in a culture. This assay uses brine shrimp, commonly known to you and me as sea monkeys. First, Brian hatches these shrimp in a bubbler, then places a known number in each well of these plates. Some rows are controlled, and some rows contain a known amount of heterosigma. After letting them sit, Brian observes the brine shrimp under a dissecting microscope. These brine shrimp are one of the controls and are mostly happy and healthy. This, however, is a well containing heterosigma, and as you can see, the shrimp are having a more difficult time swimming through the water and are labeled impaired. These data, as always, are recorded in a science notebook with three columns, alive, impaired, and dead. They're then analyzed to determine the toxicity of the heterosigma.